Hey. Hi everyone, how are you going today? I don't do many unboxings. Might do more, might not. We'll see how we go. But I'm gonna do an unboxing of something you may never have heard of yet. If you're perhaps interested in being a vlogger or a filmmaker, YouTuber in, gen in, in <laughs> a YouTuber in general, then this device could be the absolute deal breaker. I'm very excited about it, but I have to tell you a little bit of a story about it before I show you what it is. So it's called the Solo Shot 3, and it was advertised probably mid to late 2015 that it was gonna be out in the next few months, but early in the new year. I think it was gonna be something like March, April or May. I can't quite remember now, because it's so long ago. So I paid for it in October, I think it was, of 2015, and it arrived two or three days ago. So we are talking November, over two years, November 2017. We've all been very patient, those of us who've ordered and been waiting for it, and here it is. Here it is. Boom, the Solo Shot 2017 edition uh, in the flesh. There it is. There it is. So this is the thing. This is the thing. So what is this? What is the Solo Shot? Solo, as in on your own, as in just you. Version three, that's what this is. Version, well, there was version one, I saw that, I got excited. There was version two, almost bought that. And then three had so much more to offer. It had this new outstanding thing that was really quite rare back in 2015, 4K video, wow. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna hold out for the future and I'm gonna get the 4K video. Cause I've been thinking about YouTubing for quite a long time. Even so I really only went hardcore into it uh, sort of late last year, early this year. I've been thinking about it for a long time, so that's why I ordered this 4K solo shot camera. You can work with it on your own. There it is. So here's the unboxing. I got it just a couple of days ago, as I said, uh, and actually they haven't been able to, there have been such production delays with this device because they wanted to ensure that it was perfect uh, they haven't, I think, I, I think, I think, it's been so long, I think I ordered two lenses and I think I got this indoor tracking tag. So this thing actually pans and zooms with you as you move around outside. So uh, I thought it'd be really interesting to whack a camera like this on a tripod as I do a little bit of walking around outside and it would follow me. But there's also a device in the works, which hopefully will be here anytime, which allows you to do exactly the same thing inside which at the moment it doesn't. So it must use GPS or something. Not sure, I think it does. Inside, not sure. So anyway, I'm still waiting on that second lens and I'm still waiting on the indoor tracker. Yeah, let's, let's do the unboxing. Let's do it. So let's do the unboxing, here we go. Doing it with my nails because uh, I don't mind the odd paper cut. Doesn't smell that new. Maybe because it's taken two years to get here. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but very good quality packaging. It's the sort of thing that I, I suppose we would um, expect to see on the shelves of an Apple store. That might be sort of um, their, their, their target market. I feel like this is the top of the, oh, hello. Logo, solo shot, solo shot. Here we go. Ah, oh. oh, it's bigger. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Bigger. This unit is, is larger and so is this. Interesting. Okay, so let's have a look. What have we got here? This is going to be a little manual quick start guide. Okay, quick start guide, awesome. And um, not sure what that is. This is um, a strap. You can never have, oh, this is the strap to hold the tracker on your, on your body. Great, 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 great. Okay, great. And here, here is the tracker. So this is the thing that you actually wear to, uh, to be tracked. It's got a little screen and everything. 
There you go. It's on. Um, this, this bit, oh wow, look at that. It's way, it's way larger than I thought it would be. Way larger. So this is quite a sizable lens. For some reason in all their online videos, it all seemed quite small, but I, I've got big hands and, and that's, that, you know, that, that's a big lens. So this is a really big zoom lens that gives you a massive range. Anyway, let's, um, let's pop that there. This is called the Optic 65. And then this is the tracking base, this thing. This is the part that does all the, the hard work. Mm. Right. So yeah, what happens is it's a modular system. So the lens, and I've never done this, so maybe we should read the manual first, but the lens, yeah, don't know how to do it. The lens slides, slides on top, and yeah, it's much bigger. So it's a robot camera. It'll follow you around, it'll zoom and pan and tilt, the whole thing, all of it done by this servo unit. All of it will happen in these two pieces following that piece there, which is amazing. So I see, um, I see we've got something else here. Uh, oh, there we go, a USB cable. Obviously the ubiquitous USB for charging. And uh, what have we got here? This, quite hard to get it, it's quite hard to get out. There we go. I don't remember what that's for. Let's have a look in our quick start guide, shall we? Let's have a quick look in the quick start guide. Safety and usage instructions. Yes, all right, I'll, I'll get my glasses. Just slightly too small for my eyes. Where, where are they? They're around here somewhere. Glasses, oh glasses, glasses, where are you? Here we go, it says, connect the solo shot mini USB charging cord to base and use the standard quick charge wall adapter, blah, blah, blah. Dock the tag, cool. Then you slide your lens down and in. Oh, you've got to put your micro SD in, of course. So that's, uh, that's like a, a DJI, sits right in there in the lens. Drop the optics camera into the base. We've got a touch screen. So it's all happening. All right, well, so this is, as I said, the unboxing of a really interesting camera that I bought two years ago. It's quite exciting. I was actually a little bit worried that it might have been one of those crowdfunding campaign sort of things and the gear would never turn up because I actually bought something as part of a crowdfunding campaign and it did never turn up. It was vaporware and the people got away with it and I lost like 600 or $800. Bad stuff, bad stuff. Those crowdfunding people, they need to have a good hard look at themselves. But here it is. I can't believe it. Two years after I spent the money and it's arrived. So what I think about this is, if it tracks as well as it's supposed to, if the 4K video quality is good, up there with say the DJI Phantom 4 Pro or the DJI Osmo, which is another 4K device that I have and I love, which I probably should do a review about sometime soon. If, if, if it is in that Paul Park, then this will be a very exciting and very interesting piece of kit for vloggers, filmmakers, YouTubers, and the like. I think it's a really powerful device, and I'm so excited about the idea of having an extra camera angle that moves with me. It's kind of vlogging without having to hold the camera all the time. And the crazy thing was, because I got in so early, I got all these bits. So I got the two lenses and the indoor and the outdoor tag and the whole unit, the 4K device, and it was, I think I paid something like eight or 900 Australian dollars. Now that is when our dollar was a bit stronger than it is now, but still at around a thousand dollars here, Australia, maybe 1200 now, I think uh, if it proves to be as good as I hope it is, this is a really exciting device. And look at this lens. It's quite a lens. It's quite a lens, isn't it? Let's have a, yeah. That's a real piece of glass. 
It's a real lens. Moves around a bit. It's always a bit disturbing with the uh, lenses. You don't want them to move in there, but um, it does have a really big zoom. So yes, that is the unboxing of the, oops, almost fell over. <laughs> That's the unboxing of the Solo Shot 3. Uh, and as you can see here, it says track film edit. So it also has automatic editing. Have no idea how it knows which are the good bits or the bad bits of what you do. Be really interested to see how that works too. Anyway, that has been the unboxing. I will, I will strive forward and get a little bit of a, uh, a first impressions slash review out in the coming months, the coming weeks actually, because I'm going to be using this thing for not one, but two of my book launches. Yes, I've talked about those and I'll be talking about them so much more in the coming weeks because the first one is now only 10 days away and the next one is about 20 days away and it's very exciting. So this is a very, very timely arrival. Thank you everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. I know this is a bit of a tangential video, but I think for a lot of the people, a lot of people out there, perhaps including you, this could be a really amazing device and well worth sharing and uh, thinking about whether this is for you. So again, thank you very much. I hope you liked it and uh, I will see you for the next one. Okay, take it easy. Bye now.